Hello, Novanon here. In this video, we're going to be talking about how you can build your own gag account, because I think everyone should have one in their home. Uh, buying one pre-made can be quite expensive, too, so that's another reason why you might want to build your own. Uh, it's also a fun project. It uh, teaches you a lot about physics and electronics. So, let's get started. So first of all, a Geiger counter is a very simple circuit. All you need is high voltage and 400 to 1000 volts depending on the Geiger tube that you're trying to run. But this uh, is a camera circuit with the high voltage capacitor removed. And where the high voltage capacitor once was, we hooked up a Geiger tube. And then Geiger tube runs into an amplification circuit, so the clicks that it produces are a little bit more audible. And uh, that's powered by another battery. Uh, then that can be fed into headphones or a speaker. Uh, so that works. Now, I'm planning on putting uh, some coax probes like a coax probe connector so that I can remove this tube and replace it with another one and use coax cable as the uh, probe cable with these coax connectors. Alright, so as you can see I have it all set up now and everything plugged in. Now, as you can hear, you can hear natural background radiation. And that's caused from stuff from space coming in, hitting the tube and causing it to read something. As you can see here, it's not very much radiation. It's perfectly normal. However, if I bring something like a depression glass, such as this, uh, which contains uranium, uranium oxide, and uh, if I place it near the tube, you can hear it starts clicking a bit more. But it's mostly beta radiation that you can detect. Uh, because gamma rays often just pass right through the tube. Only 3% are actually detected. Uh, this is the SBM-20 tube. Well, not the SBM-20, but uh, the STS-5. But it's very similar to the SBM-20. It's a great tube for the price. Uh, you could get a Chinese glass tube. They're basically the same. But this one's a bit more sensitive. Those are a lot cheaper though. These are like 20 bucks maybe. I got mine for like 13. Uh, another thing that I have is some Trinitite. This is pretty cool and I'll have a link to a video in the description that I made about this. It's very cool. Uh, and if I put this near the tube doesn't emit that much radiation, as you can hear. But it does emit some. Uh, let's check out something a little more potent. This is Amory CM241 from a smoke detector. Uh, I believe it's one microcurry. But it emits mostly alphas, but some of its decay products emit uh, betas and gammas, so we should be able to detect it a little bit here. This is uh, definitely my most potent sample. But as you can see, it's a fully functioning Geiger counter. Pretty cool. And the whole thing probably could cost less than $30. Uh, 
I'm going, I'm planning on putting an enclosure on it and putting this, the amplification part, onto a uh, perf board. I already started soldering it. But uh, something else I plan to do to this in the future is add in uh, Arduino support. I'm planning on making an analog to digital converter using a 555 timer here. Uh, but I haven't quite perfected that yet, so. Yeah, stay, stay tuned. Alright, so here's the schematic. So, all you have to do the, to the camera board is you have to remove the high voltage capacitor. It's a big capacitor on the board. And then, where the positive output is, you attach to the anode of your Geiger tube, and then the negative output goes into the uh, audio amplifier circuit. So, it's pretty simple, and you can throw it together in like 30 minutes, but keep in mind it is high voltage, and if you do touch it, then you'll get a shock. It won't be too bad, but it will hurt. And then, also, any Geiger tube that runs on 400 to 500 volts should work. 300 should also work. But keep in mind, as the battery gets used, the voltage will drop because it's not regulated. And that's about all. Oh, and make sure that you don't overvolt your transistor. I, I did at first. I attached a 9 volt but it got too hot so I removed that because my guy uh, my uh, resist transistor is only meant for six volts so make sure you don't overvolt it so that's it thanks for watching bye